Are you ready for your next holiday trip? Well, I know I am. And if you're a cigar enthusiast like myself, then you know that packing the right cigars is as important as packing the right clothes. So in this video, I'm gonna go through everything that I do to make sure I take the right cigars and that my cigars arrive at the destination in top condition. There are a few factors that I normally have in mind when I'm planning to go on a holiday or a trip and I'm thinking of taking cigars. And the first one would be protection. Now, when I talk about protection, what I mean is protection from physical damage. As we know, cigars are very delicate and if you sit on them or if you squish them, they're gonna break, they're gonna split, and then they're gonna become unsmokable. And you don't want that. You want your cigars to arrive in top conditions so that you enjoy them. So when I'm thinking about a case on where to carry my cigars, I normally go for a hard case. Something that is strong, that won't bend easy, that if it squishes, it's not gonna squish the cigars inside, that is gonna keep its shape. So we need something that is strong. Another point is that I, I prefer that is a dark case because I, I don't want the light to penetrate. For example, when you arrive at your destination, you might be in a rush, you put the cigars on top of a table, on top of the bed, and you forget about them, then the sun starts hitting that case it will penetrate, the sun rays will penetrate and your cigars will become dry and unsmokable. I prefer to use something that is dark that won't let the light in. Another point that I like to think about is it needs to be airtight. The reason because when you take your cigars out of your humidor, they already, they should have the right humidity there. When you put them inside this case, if it's an airtight case, then they should hold that humidity which means that they'll be perfect for where you decide to have that cigar on your destination. You also have to think that some of the destinations that we visit could be with higher humidity or lower humidity, which will affect your cigar if it's not airtight. If you just leave your cigar sitting outside on a table, for example, and it's very dry, it will dry that cigar up. Then it won't be as enjoyable. It might not go as far as destroying it, but it's better to use an airtight container. Now, Tupperware is good. A lot of people use Tupperware. I've used Tupperware in the, in, in, in the beginning, but you have to be really careful. Maybe when you arrive at the destination to put that case inside a drawer, inside somewhere that is dark and cool so that it doesn't get affected by the heat from the sun or you know the surrounding areas. Another thing that it is, it's actually made for cigar travel is a case like this and i will link this one and a bigger one a few other ones on the description below with the amazon links but these are basically cigar trouble cases and as you can see they're very strong they're black they're thick this is just a little bit of um something that i did but you know they'll come with a brand name like sidecar or something like that but tight strong cases they have a seal around the lid so when they they're closed it's airtight and these ones they come with the little foam so that your cigars don't rattle around and they have this humidity thing but i prefer not to use that humidity is the next thing that i'm going to touch but yeah so a case like this is perfect now you have them this is five cigar i will link 10 cigar 20 cigar they go up to 50 cigars so i'll put some of those links below but the next point will be humidity we know that cigars need a constant humidity level of between 68% to 72%. That's to ensure that they don't dry out or they become too humid. And also take into consideration what I mentioned before. Sometimes we travel to countries that are very humid or very dry. So humidity is a very important point that you have to think when you're traveling with your cigars. I've tried many methods and really the easiest and the one that works the best is having a boveda pack this is a small little pack 69 percent two-way humidity control as i mentioned before if you are using a container that is airtight and your cigars are already in great conditions in your humidor then just put one of this and your cigar will stay perfect throughout your flight your time there until you smoke them a boveda pack is the best way in my opinion just to travel with cigars and even at home. If you have a little small humidor, if I'm going into a short trip or something, I I'll just put one of these. It works much better than, than having to use these things on these cases that are, they're messy, 
this foam that they use here. I, I don't like that. Even when I use this, I put the, humi the Boveda pack. So humidity is very important. Just make sure you have, depending on how many cigars you have, read the instructions. If you're taking something like a 10, 15 pack cigar, something like this will do. But if you're gonna take the, the big pack of 50 cigars, you're going for a month or so, or you're gonna meet a lot of friends, then make sure you take enough of them inside your back, your, your case, and you will be fine. So that will be humidity sorted. Low and travel restrictions. This is a point that a lot of people forget. And when you're visiting another country, you should always do a little bit of research. You should check what is allowed, what does the airline allow you to take? What are the customs on that country? How many cigars do they allow you to take into the country without paying taxes? And are you willing to take more and then pay the taxes? Questions you gotta ask yourself and research will help you with that. But also the law inside the country. Because places like Mexico, for example, where you could just go on holiday, buy cigars and smoke them, no problem. Now they have passed the law when where, where they don't allow you to smoke in any areas where people could get together. So if you were thinking of going to Mexico and then having a cigar on your terrace or after a meal in a restaurant, down the beach, in a park, you won't be able to anymore. And this law was passed recently. So maybe you have visited Mexico before, you should check the law before you travel because they get updated, especially with tobacco. They have a big thing. I've made a video about the war on, 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 on cigars. I'll link it above. Every country is tackling and it is a big war. So just make sure you check what the law says. You don't get in trouble. You don't get your cigars confiscated. You don't get fined or anything like that. Time available. Now, all the points that I spoke to about before are all to do with how we're going to take the cigars. In which case are we going to take them? How are we going to take them? The law, how are we going to get the cigars from point A to point B in top notch condition? Now, this point and the next point are about the cigars. Which cigars are we going to take? And time, time is a big factor that we have to think about. Because as we know, cigars could take between half an hour to two hours, three hours, <laughs> you know, depending on the size of the cigar. So depending on the time that you have, that will help you narrow down which cigars you should take. You have more time, you take a bigger cigar. You have less time, you take a short cigar and so on. I think this is a very important point and it's going to help you with the next step when you're selecting the cigars. Using the point that we spoke about before about time, how much time you have available, it already helps you narrow down what size of cigars you're going to take. But also you have to take into consideration your personal taste, your favorite profile, the strength, the ring gauge. What cigars do you like? And when you know the time and your taste, then you're able to narrow down to the cigars. Now, I, I am also going to break it down a little bit more for myself. And the way I've done that is I'm going to take 10 cigars roughly because I am going for a week. And I already know roughly as well what activities we're doing. So I broke it down into these three morning cigars. And for these ones, I've chose three Columbus, which are light cigars. And I'm hoping to, you know, in the morning before the family gets ready and stuff, I'll have a little espresso and I smoke one of these cigars. This cigar is on my website, totopur.shop. It's a beautiful, delicious morning cigar. They're made in La Palma. They have a special leaf that is native to La Palma in Spain, which is La Breña. Great cigar, beautiful way to start the morning. So I have these three cigars for the morning. I think I'll have three mornings that I'll be able to enjoy this. Then I'm gonna have two lunch cigars, two medium body cigars, but are nice, easy to enjoy. They smell really good. The, the smoke is okay, so it won't disturb anybody. And here I have the Hoyo de Monterrey Piqueo number two and El, El Septimum. Beautiful cigars, very easy to enjoy, especially at lunchtime. My next idea was I am gonna have I think it's two dinners. So I'm gonna take two Toros to smoke on those dinners. Even if it's just one dinner and maybe a friend wants a cigar, then I go two Toros with me and that will be the Andalusian Bull and the Olivia Serie B Melanio. Great cigars, 
after the dinner, you sit down, you relax, you have a friend, you're drinking maybe a whiskey, a rum or something like that. Beautiful cigars to enjoy. This is delicious. I'm really looking forward to smoke this too. And then I'm just taking two extra cigars just in case any of my friends wants to try. This is a Columbus Azul, my morning cigar, which is a very light cigar, very nice. And this is a Columbus Negro, which is a little bit darker, but it has some beautiful taste, some nice notes, easy to smoke. Anybody can smoke these two cigars. So those are for friends. I am also taking a short and mighty cigar, I call them. You know, sometimes you find that you have half an hour or 45 minutes to smoke something, then this El Septimo Bullet is a perfect cigar, especially in the morning with a nice dark espresso or during the day. Beautiful cigar any time of the day. So I'm taking this as, a, as, a, as in the short and mighty. I am also going to take two extra cigars just in case. Maybe I run out, maybe I have two more friends that want to try them. Or, you know, I have them in the humidor, I got enough space, I'm gonna take these two guys. What I also take is, well, as I mentioned before in a video, I will link it as well above my cigar travel pack. I take this case, I take a lighter, I take a Studupont double cutter, I also take this multi tool, but make sure you watch that video so you know everything I take. And that's it. These are the points that I normally take into consideration when I'm going to travel with cigars. A strong case so that your cigars are protected. They're not going to bend, they're not going to break. A case that is probably dark so that it's easier for you to control the temperature. Important thing is that it's airtight so that you can control humidity much easier. Check the law. Most people forget about this one. Check the law before you leave, before you start packing because this one is very important. It might even, you know, checking the law, you'll be able to know how many cigars you can take. Maybe 10 is too much, maybe 50 is okay. So make sure you take check the law. And do a little bit of planning. Find out how much time you're gonna have available because that is a very important um, thing to find out as it will help you narrow down which sizes of cigars you're gonna have or at what times or which moment. And then take something that you really enjoy. Think about your taste your favorite ring gauge look in your humidors nice cigars that you have there or maybe buy something special something that you want to enjoy when you're over there maybe it's sunny and you want a nice cigar because it's sunny something like that tell me in the comments which cigars do you normally travel with and which cases do you use to take them and if you have enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe i'm going to leave you here last week's video over here another playlist and in the meantime don't forget to smoke less smoke the best